Go check out buycheapfifacoins.com to get the best cheap coins around on the market. Use the discount code ROSSI for an extra discount off your coins. It's a fully automated service. So you get your coins instantly. What more could you ask for? Now let's roll on to today's video. Hello guys, Mr. Ross1990 here, and it's episode number 33 of the Random Hybrid. For today's episode, we're going to be using none other than new inform this week, Emma Nike, basically the pace abuser, the absolute tank. And if anyone hasn't used him yet, then I would advise using him if you want to win games because he is amazing on this game, even though he's only like 80, 81 rated. I can't quite remember, but we're going to be using his inform. It's a pretty good team of the week this week. It's got um, Hams Rodriguez probably being the standout player. But he's a right mid instead of a cam, which is disappointing. It's also got um, Griezmann as a striker, which is strange because obviously he was a winger before. But I'll go with m &EK because I'd imagine you guys want to see that one over any other informs this week. But if you do want to see any of the other informs, let me know in the comment section below or anybody else you'd like to see me use. Always make sure you leave it in the comment section. It's more likely that I will use them. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the like button if you can. That'd be awesome. But off we go. We're going to do this episode live. Live, of course, and um, MNEK plays uh, for Fenerbahce, he's Nigerian, so it's difficult kind of to breach off from him into really, really good players, but we can give it a go and see what happens and um, go from there. We're going to go for page number five, player number five, five and five, why the hell not? Let's do this, here we go. Who are we going to get for our first player, or second technically? One, two, three, four, five. We're actually going to inform Sigurdsson. This is a good player, actually. Not nothing wrong with Sigerson at all. Very good shot and passing on him. Um, I think he's, is he a default cam or centre mid? Not too sure, but we can definitely go ahead and use him. So we've got him. Good, you know, he's a good player, but he's a difficult again, difficult player to link. Apart from if you use Premier League, obviously, because his country is not ideal. But we can give it a go and see what we can do. So let's go for our final player, five and five. Who are we going to get? Let's have a little gange. We're going to get one, two, three, four, five. Got ourselves Iniesta. Alright, that's fine. So Iniesta, Sigurdsson, and my main man, Emma Nike. So this is going to be fun. Um, right, well that's the formation I've just got up. That's not necessarily the formation we're going to use. But we will go ahead and chuck in Iniesta. Very good player in this game, Iniesta. I have used him a few times already, so eventually he's going to become one of them players which I use too much. And I will have to stop using him. But you guys are so good on this game. We'll chuck him in there. And uh, the other one, of course, was Sigurdsson. I'm not too sure, again, if he... Is a centre mid or not? We'll just start at Swansea centre mid and see what happens if he comes up or not. Oh, okay. Maybe actually, it's just a default centre mid. That's cool. Right, what formation should we rock with these players? We've got to really think this out because we've got to... Um, they're basically three players who don't link any shape or form. The last episode, we got three players who linked together. And that's, that's nice. Um, but let's think about our options here. What can we go for? Flat 442? No, not really. Oh, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting. Um, oh, God. The hell's a... Actually. Meh. No, I don't think so. Is that going to work? That could work. That could work. Let me just put him over there a second. Um, I'm thinking instantly in the centre mid, it would need to kind of be a friend of that J player. So Diego is the kind of like standout one in, in my opinion there because he's a good league. And we could, this could be a very interesting hybrid. This could be a very interesting hybrid indeed. Let's have a look at some uh, front of back chase center mid. So Raul Morales is another option as well. Portuguese. Uh, well, we've got a good Brazilian guy there. Raul Morales. Um, he's Portuguese. Diego is, of course, Brazilian. And he should be here somewhere. There he is. Ooh, Diego. Oh, I like Diego too much to say no. So we're going to put Diego in there. What I was thinking of now, we could go for a... Well, over this side, for starters, a Nigerian right mid in the Premier League. Now, there is one. I do believe Victor Moses is the guy I'm thinking of. Let's have a double check. There isn't another one, just so I can, you know, rule it out. So we'll go for Nigeria, right mid in the Premier League. We've also got Odin Wingy, who, again, not a bad player, but I think I'll probably go with Moses over him. Um, just check right wings just in case. No, so we're going to go with Moses, a guy which you wouldn't expect me to use, would you? And we're going to bloody do it. So there he is, Victor Moses. We've already got him, so that's cool. Links with Sigurdsson, so that's exactly what we need. And then, where do we go from there, of course? Ooh. I'm just thinking how many links Diego's getting, actually. That's going to be a difficult one. That is going to be a very difficult one. Um... Right, well, let's get rid of Diego a second. Let's rethink this. Let's rethink our options. Maybe put him there. Maybe put him there. Um, my 
god, the links are crazy in this formation. Let's have a look for Fenerbahce left mids. Maybe that could be an option we could go down. If I'm not mistaken, um, is Musa so Fenerbahce? I wanna, I'm hoping he is, because that would be cool to use him. Oh, it might not be, to be fair. Um... Oh, he is. There he is. Musa So. We'll definitely give him a try. I've not used him this year yet. He looks like a good player, you know. No, I think he used to be a striker. They've got him on the left side now, so it's a little bit different for him. And um, this is a very difficult f formation to do it in, actually. I might have to change this up. Um, oh, my God. Should we go for the five? Should we go for the five? Nah. We can't really do the five. This is a very difficult, difficult one to do. Um... Okay, what should we do? What shall we do is the question. Possibly that. Possibly that formation. Let me just let me just sort this a minute. Musa So would go there. Victor Moses would go there. That's cool. That's fine and dandy. You chuck him there. Musa So would need another link though. That's the only problem. Is there a formation where he doesn't need another link? That one. But then Victor Moses would be useless because he doesn't actually link with Sigurdsson. But this is a what the... The links in this formation actually work well for me. <laughs> they work very well for me. Um, right, so how many formations have they got each? They only need two strong links each. Whoa, um, hold on, hold on a second. Have Swansea got a Spanish centre back? They definitely used to. Whether or not they've sold him on now, I'm not sure. But please, 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 please. Yes, Hordy Amat. Oh, I've got him as well, Jesus Christ. Not even that bad. He's actually pretty decent. 67 pace, 74 defending, 78 physical, medium high work rates. Could could have actually been a lot worse. I'm very happy with that. Then we would go ahead and use a... Ooh, which side do we want to use these on? Oh my god, baby Jeff, what are you this year? Are you a right mid or are you a left mid? Let me have a look down here a second at Swansea's options because we want to kind of get a player from Swansea on the wings. What have you got for me, Swansea? You've either got... Boney obviously isn't really helping us here. You've got Routledge as an option. You've got... Uh, Mezama. You have got Shelly. Montero is a left mid, but then again, Dai is a right mid. Ooh, choices. Choices, choices, choices. Baby Jeff, my man. Oh my god. It'd be quite cool to try Baby Jeff, to be fair. And, um, yeah, we could definitely do that. Iniesta now, though, would need some kind of... Oh, actually, this might be... This might be bad. I don't think Barcelona have got a right mid. Am I wrong in thinking that, or is that the one that... There's some fit, somebody doesn't have a good right mid, or a right mid at all. It might be Barcelona. I think it is Barcelona, which is an absolute joke. Because now we can't... Oh, bollocks. Yeah, they don't. They've got a left mid, though, so we're going to have to, unfortunately, not be able to use Baby Jeff. It's a very unfortunate situation, but their left mid is a good one. And it is, of course... Well, it is Neymar, but we, we want Pedro. We want Pedro for that ultimate link, and that is working out fine. So now NES is happy, whereas if I had Neymar, he would have got two dead links, one strong link, one weak link. Now he's got a perfect link and a weak link, so we can afford to get two dead links. So that is fine. Over here now, where do we want to go? We want to go and get ourselves... Um, well, Spanish centre-back is, is, you know, exactly what we need. So we might as well just chuck a Spanish centre-back in. Um, go for one, maybe we don't use a lot. Ramos, maybe. Inigo Martinez is, is a good player. Uh, what else have we got down here, though? We could maybe silver it up a little bit now that we've already got Amat. You know, it's definitely an option. Have they got any good silver centre-backs this year? Oh, Nacho. Has he got high attacking work rate, though? No, he's got medium, medium. He's only 5 foot 10. Who's this guy? Is he, is he any better? He's only 5 foot 11. They're not massive, are they? I like really tall centre-backs in a free in a free back, uh, for sure. Um, Derek. My main man, Derek. I think he's a, just the silver, actually. He is just the silver. Uh, fair play to him. Um, Lorente. Apparently got a really good, um, you know, highly rated in real life, that guy. So, um, look forward to seeing how he develops in the future. Uh, what else have we got here, though? Whoa, we probably would go for him, really, wouldn't we? If we want to go for a silver option. Obviously, there's gold options, and I probably am going to go for a gold option. What am I even saying? I really badly want to go for Enigo Martinez. He's only 5'11 as well. What's Ramos? He's six foot. They're not massive centre-backs. But we'll go with Enigo Martinez. He's unhappy. He doesn't need another link. But where do we go from over here is our next question. So, we need... We need a Swansea right mid. There's no other way of describing it. 
We need a Swansea right mid. Dyer looks like the one we are going to go ahead and get ourselves. Was there another one actually before I commit to Dyer? I think Dyer's good enough to be fair. He looks really decent actually for a silver. Um, this, this team's going to be weird. This team's going to be not a team which I <laughs> would normally make. Um, M&EK needs another strong link though. That's the only problem. Have Fernabachi got a right winger? Go on Fernabachi. Make my day and have a top draw right winger. Or a Nigerian in that league. So we don't want that one. We want that one. What right wingers have they got in general? They have got... Fernabachi have got Kaut. They've also got Krasik. And if anybody remembers this guy, he used to play for Juventus. He used to be really good on Ultimate Team back in the day. He took a bit of a hit now, by the looks of things. And um, not as good as he used to be. But who am I to judge? I'm very tempted to use Dirty Kaut just for the fact. He's a legend. He's a legend, pretty much. Uh, what else have they got, though? They have got... Not a lot. Not a lot of goodies. They've got this guy who looks like a girl. They've also got... Oh, Hleb was there, but I don't think he would work. Oh, God. Dirty count, mate. It is Fernabachi, isn't it? Yeah. We might have to go for him. Let's go for Fernabachi. Who was the other player they had, did I say? Oh, Krasik. Yeah, I'm quite tempted to go for Krasik, actually. Give him a try, for just for, just for old time's sake. Actually, what kind of links do they get? Yeah, I'm actually quite tempted to go for that. This is a weird team. This is a very strange team. Um, it's only actually got three... Um, well, I was going to say three teams, but it's not at all. We've got one, two, three, four. <laughs> and we're going to change up a little bit more over here as well. So we're going to go for... Um, it needs to be a Premier League centre-back. That's pretty much what it has to be. I do apologise for the amount of Premier League players we're using there. And I really should have gone the other way, scrolling through that. But we want a Premier League centre-back... Oh, I could probably have any of them, to be honest. Who should we go for? I've got Jackie Elkers in form. Would be quite tempting. Mangala, um, Colaccini, possibly Rojo. Not a bad little option there. Um, who else could we go for? Um, well, let's have a little think about this a second. The goalkeeper... Probably going to be De Gea, but how many Spanish players have we got here? One, two, three, four. We've got our fifth Spanish player. Bullshit! Um, right, okay. We're just going to go for... Company would, would be, you know, freaking awesome in this team. Jackie Elk is in form, like I said. I've got... Uh, is there any good silver ones? We're quite cool to use a silver one. Uh, there is, there's, actually there is a really good silver one, there's a there's Zuma, there's a Kore, there's that guy there for Sunderland in real life, I think he's pretty shite, <laughs> but in this game he's fantastic. I think it's actually a right back, but a Kore, holy shit, yeah we're going to use that little bad boy, I think I packed him didn't I, yes I did, and then we're going to use the Hayer in goal, his inform one, I can't remember if I've used him or not, what other Spanish goalkeepers are there in the Premier League actually, before I fully commit to having De Gea, is he the only one? Oh, Adrian, of course. Now, we're going to have De Gea. That's the team. It's not the best hybrid I've ever built. I'm not going to lie to you, but it was very difficult with the players I had to use. Um, if you feel as if you can make a better one, please be my guest and let me know. Because I would like to try him an EK in um, a number of teams before I sell him, to be honest. And this team looks very good, but not the best hybrid. Like I've said, they're all kind of like... Um, one, two, three, four, five. There's five Premier League players. There's five Spanish players. And then there is, um, obviously, Fernabachi up top. So, like I said, it's not it's definitely not the best hybrid I've ever done. But it's, it's, it's a team of players which I wouldn't normally use. I mean, there's no way in hell I'd use So or Krasik in another team. Sigurdsson I probably wouldn't use. Amat, for sure, I wouldn't use. You know, Dyer I probably wouldn't use in many of the teams. Akore, I will, because I really rate him on this game. But apart from that... They're players which, you know, it's, it'll be nice to give them a go and see how they play. So I'm going to go buy all these players now. I'll be right back when I've bought them and we'll see how it looks. Boom! Okay, we are back and that is the finished team. It looks very strange, yes I know, but it looks like it'll play quite well. Hopefully, anyway, yeah, and out front, you know we can't really go wrong, can we? Um... There's a couple of silvers in there. Two non-shiny silvers as well. Krasik actually being a non-shiny silver. But it's nice to see him back in the game. I think he had a couple of years out. I'm not too sure how many exactly. But I'm pretty confident he's a guy who played for Juventus. He used to be really, really quick. Like 90 plus pace. And um, a player I used to use quite a lot. I'm not going to lie to you. He was very... 
very good back then, but we'll have to see how good he is this year. He's not got the best stats in the world, but not the worst either. He does look half decent, so it'd be nice to give him a go again and see how he plays. The midfield consists of a very nice midfield, actually. We've got Pedro, who's got a five-star weak foot, good pace, good work rates, good everything, really, really good player in real life. Iniesta, one of the players we had to use. You know what you get with Iniesta, fantastic player. Sigurdsson's one I'm gonna, um, not too sure about because... He's good. You don't get me wrong. He's very good, actually. Catalyst. 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 Can be shown on him as well. Born with that. That's decent. But I don't know. Just, I, I reckon he'd be a cam, in my opinion. But he's got good passing. It's not a problem. And Dyer. High, high work rate. So he's going to get around. Four star skills in him as well. Decent. Good pace. Good dribbling. Good shooting. For a silver card, he's actually really impressive. So I'm really looking forward to using him. A Kore. Yeah, I know what I get with him. Amat's going to be the guy who, you know, a little bit tested in this episode. But he's got very good stats. If he was, if he was a shiny card. You wouldn't think twice about using him. He would be a really good player. It's just the fact that people get put off if they're non shiny Not me. I'm not really bothered. Inigo Martinez. I know I get with him. Very, very solid player. And um, does a job. David De Gea. I'm not sure if I've used him before. I want to say I have. I think I might have used his inform before. But I'm not 100% confident. But he looks good. Then he's got all the right stats in all the right places. 90 on diving and reflexes. Handling could be a little bit better in my opinion. I like it at least above 80 on these kind of cards. But it's not. But 78. That's not that bad. So definitely. You know. That's okay. I can, I can deal with that. And then. So... Again, a guy I haven't used. I'm good to try. And then Emma Nike, high low work rate, beast of a ch man, child. And um, yeah, so that is the team we're going to be using. We're going to go find ourselves an opponent. Hopefully, we can win this game. I'll be right back when we found him. I'll see you in two. Okay, so we have found our opponent. Strange team. He's got Morales playing up front as a right mid. I would advise changing him to a right forward if he wants to do that. But Di Maria's in there, Cabea. Ross Barkley is a CDM as a cam. Very strange. What and Yama. Very good. It's actually informed this week, I think. And um, yeah. Let's oh my do god, this. don't piss me around. Just get it away. It's M and EK. Oh, great hold up play. I see that run in the middle. Who's that running through? Not even sure who this is. It's Iniesta. Couldn't ask for anybody better. Oh, I think we've got a penalty. We have. It's cheap because I've really messed up there and I've not got a good shot away at all. I think that's my shot trickling wide because I kind of got stuck. It is my shot trickling one. We've got a cheap penalty. I'm not going to say no to that. That is very nice to get this early on in the game. And Musa so fancy this one. We're going to switch it to M and EK. Of course we are. But it'd be nice to score. But I won't lie to you. My recent form on penalties has been really, really bad. I haven't scored one in a long time. Um, well, I can remember anyway. So hopefully we're going to break that little duct with M and EK finishing this one. Here we go. Let's do this. Come on, M and EK. Smash it. M and EK scores. Only just though. Jesus Christ. Gets the goal in the ninth minute. Get in. It's a good start to the game. It's a very difficult difficult opponent. But it's a very good start. 1-0. Oh, I'm all over the place here. I'm all over the place. Defensively, that's poor. Oh, my God. Di Maria's going to cut in. I saw it coming. I can't defend it for shit, though. Iniesta's got something on it. But giving it right to Ross Buckley. What the fuck just happened, man? Seriously. That's poor. That is really poor. I'm hoping I took a deflection as David De Gea is out of the team instantly. Um, let's have a quick look at this again. It's, it's, oh, it's a terrible clearance from me. Did I even take a deflection? That's a, that's a really weird goal. Not sure how that's gone in, but it's gone in regardless. Crap. Sigurdsson. Oh, that's nice. Trying to have an EK. No, it's not a good, that's not a good thing for my opponent. M and EK. Oh! Well, he was offside regardless, so I've missed anyway. <laughs> but what the hell? Sigurdsson getting a little bit of a nosebleed. Well in, in to go Martinez. Right, classic. Oh, finds m and EK. Get running. Get running. Come on, show me that strength. Fucking Dave again. Get out of my kitchen, Dave. Well, that isn't the pass he was looking for, but it's found Benteke. This could be dangerous. Defenders have gone all over the place. Benteke just turns. Got to watch him. Got to watch him. Been completely done there. That's going to go in, I reckon. Jesus Christ, De Gea doesn't look very good at all. Really not impressed from De Gea. Let's sort our tits out here. There's a guy on the floor. We'll take advantage of this. m and EK. Just going to run right through. Oh, nicely done. M and EK. Bollocks. Oh, God, no. We've been mugged off here. And Amas is not going to have the pace, is he? It's been tech... Um, hello? Is David De Gea even fucking playing? What the hell was that? Wow, okay. David De Gea is a fucking joke of a goalkeeper. That's shit. That really is crap. Fuck's sake. Musa Snow. Nice. Come on, Musa. Oh, Musa So. No, fucked it. Bloody old Dave. Fuck. That's half time. We're, we're struggling. We really are. 
I, David De Gea's not playing, lads. He's, he's utter shit in goal for me, apparently. Maybe it's because I'm a Leeds fan and he thinks, fuck that, and decides not to turn up. But it's an even game. We've not had... Or is a little bit more swayed to him. The scoreline's probably right, actually. 2 1 is probably a fair reflection of how the game's gone. So, fair play to him. We started off quite well. Emnika getting the goal. He came back stronger. Ross Barkley scoring a piddle. And then Ben Teke scored another piddle, in my opinion, because David De Gea has just been utter shit. And it sucks. But second half, let's do it. Don't mess this up, you little bastards. Right, feed. Oh, here he is, Emnika. Oh, he's just going to bully him out of the way. Oh, play that ball in. Oh my god, please. Who is it? It's Sigerson, it's ugly. It's disgusting goal. But we've got it regardless. We'll take it. Two all. Thank God for that. Holy shit. Pure strength from MNEK. I thought he's going to run right through him. But he's got just a beautiful pass. Because he was about to get cracked, if I'm honest. 2-2. Two -two. Let's just not fucking concede a kickoff goal and I'll be pretty happy. I just can't get the ball to MNEK enough for my liking. It's great defending from Amat. He's been half decent, to be fair. Apart from that, we're struggling defensively. Wanyama, do not let him shoot. What a def... That's top draw. Fair play. That is a cracking goal. I did not expect him to chip back in behind. You just have to hold your hands up and say, fucking hell, that's decent. That really is. I thought he was going to hit it. I honestly thought he was going to smack this. He's like the sky's little dinking over. And that's a top finish. That really is. No problem with the hair on that one. That's a good goal. You just got to give him that. And he probably deserves that on the run of play. So that really is a good goal. Damn, possibly might have got a hand to that if he reacted quicker, but fuck him. We're 3-2 down. Classic. Over the top we go. We're looking for anybody. We've gone all out attack pretty much. We're in trouble now on the counter. Oh, here they go, Martinez. Feed. Oh, what a ball. No way. Oh, my God. This is the moment. This is the moment. Musa So turns him. Musa So, finish it. No fucking way. Oh, we should have just tramped it in or crossed it in. Fuck my life. Musa So, massive chance. We might have another one here if we're lucky. Come on. Oh, defender fucked up. No. Thought we had another chance then, but we did not. Oh, God. And now he's on the counter-attack. He's getting a lot of these, to be fair. Kabea. Nice. Oh, I've been fucking raped twice by that. Whips it in. Get it away. Nah, the referee's fucking blown final whistle. Bollocks to that. We've lost that game. Difficult game, though. Let's see how it all went down. Fuck. Okay, so that's how it all went down. To be fair, he probably deserved to win just purely on, yeah, better possession, more shots on target. He was a decent player, to be fair. A really good team. Really strange team, though, in the fact they had, like, Ross Barkley and CDM as a cam. You know, difficult uh, to understand what kind of chemistry those people were getting. But he, it, obviously, a team which he felt comfortable using. He played well with it. And the team I had was just a very strange-looking team. And looking back at it, it probably wasn't the best I could have done. And I really do apologize for that. But it didn't play that well either. I mean, EK's a threat. He really is. Musa So was all right, apart from that miss at the end. That really could have done us. Krasik, he's just not as good as he used to be. He really isn't. And the kind of fact that I had a flat four midfield and, you know, it's basically right mid, left mid, right wing, left wing. And there's a lot of attacking going on. It was very open defensively and kind of in the midfield area. So that formation was probably a wrong choice as well. But looking back, you've got to try these things. Didn't work for me today. And that is very, very unfortunate. But the standout player, definitely MNEK. Very impressive. In another team, he'd be an absolute beast. Because he just is. That is what he is. And uh, it would be nice to use him maybe later down the line. If he gets like another inform, we'll be just fancy using him again. But that's going to be it for this episode, guys. If you have enjoyed it, like, it's fantastic. Subscribe if you are new around here. Let me know in the comment section below who you'd like me to use in the next episode. I'll catch you next time. And bye-bye. Boom.